All right, this is an oldie but goodie. This is the toothpick trick. And we used to just cast the product of this out in front of some cattails or weeds and, and let it sit. If uh, it works fine for that in moving water, if you move it yourself as you would a normal worm, so much the better. What we're going to do is we're just going to rig up a worm the normal way we would with a hook. I'm going to rig it weedless. We're going to go in the nose, flip the hook over, judge where it's going to come out of the worm sack, and put the hook through. You know the deal with all of this. It's just your normal worm rigging. And uh, I'm going to stretch it a little bit and put a little plastic over the tip. So it's uh, completely weedless. All right, this is the important part of the deal. This is the toothpick end. And I've been sucking some toothpicks in menhaden oil. Whatever fish attractant you want to use, as long as it's oil-based. I've used uh, crawfish oil, some of the commercial stuff, as long as it's oil. Did I mention it's got to be oil? Yes. You can't scrimp on that. It has to be oil-based to work. Now if you watch carefully, you'll see how much I break off of that toothpick. It's not much at all. Maybe a half an inch. It's going to depend on the worm, but you don't need much once it's soaked in that oil. And you're going to insert it on the bottom side of the worm. I'm inserting it just ahead of the paddle tail and it's going to lift that up. Now you keep pushing that toothpick in until the plastic covers it so that water can't get to it. It goes all the way in just like that. And this is the effect in uh, moving water. You don't really have to do anything, just toss it out and the tail is waving in the breeze. Whatever sees it comes along and grabs it. And just on a lark, uh, with one of these I made up, uh, within 10 minutes I walked out to the bank and on the very first cast got this one. So it does work. It's an oldie but goodie trick. Good luck with your fishing.